All right, today I want to get into one that is very much hated or love it. There never seems to be much of an in-between, but cat eye sunglasses. Super aggressive, super catty, super hip, super cool, super pretty, or you absolutely see them and you just immediately can't stand them and hate them. I have not met anybody that falls really on anywhere in between. It is very much one way or the other. But today I wanna to take a look at some of my favorite cat eye sunglasses. These are newer to us, they're a newer collection altogether, but they do the super aggressive cat eye very, very well, I think. Let's take a look at it and see what you think because that's the opinion that matters. So these are them. This is it. These are they or whatever. They, these are the cat eye sunglasses I was talking about. You see we have very, very sharp uplifting lines on either side. They come out to that nice classic point. This really merges a vintage cat eye well to what we see as more modern cat eye shape. And just very classic colors to start with in this one. It's a very new collection, so they're doing a few things a little bit different, but not, you know, we got a lot of nice classic colors. They did a few that were pretty wild. This particular piece, they stuck classic because the shape is already pretty wild to begin with. And again, as I mentioned on Cat Eyes, this one's a pretty polarizing one. The great thing with this one, it makes more of a statement than most of the Cat Eyes out there because the material's a little bit thicker. It's a little bit chunkier look gets really, really aggressive out here at the corners, which is what I like to see on a good cat eyes, that strong uplifting shape, especially the way this one thickens to the outer edge. That's gonna work really well if you did a prescription lens in here. It's gonna give a little bit of that wider look without a really wide lens, which of course is what we like to see in looking for something that does control that thickness at the outer edge on a high minus or centrally on a high plus because it's more central we can get here, the less extra thickness we've got out here or in here or whatever the case may be. But that's not what you're here for. You're here to look at the pretty sunglasses. So with these, they've got a very nice soft taper back to the temple. A lot of adjustability right here because it is thin as it goes right over the ear. It still has a metal core in it. And these do use a nice Italian five barrel hinge, which if you've seen my video on hinges on frames, that's a big bonus point. So that's something that's gonna hold shape really well. They're very robust. More often you'll see these tear out of the acetate than the actual hinge have a failure to it. And yeah, you see that little note there, nice limited edition stuff. So these are each actually one of a kind in the introductory collection. And that is, there we go. So they're handmade frames, very nice attention to detail in these, which you guys know I'm pretty picky anyways. A very well done polish on these, which is what I always like to see. I haven't taken these home and put a final polish on them myself. So this is just the straight way they come down the line and come to us. And that is really fantastic. It's very, very hard to find stuff with that nice kind of a luster to it in most cases. You won't see it too often. And you've got the nice soft bevels here that kind of comes from the multiple stages of polishing that they go through. Now, what I really like on these is that splay in right here in the bridge area. So it's built up pretty nicely, has a nice angle to it. So what that amounts to for people, when you're putting this on faces, it's got a lot more forgiving shape. So even though it's pretty wide here through the bridge, that splay is gonna give it a much better fit across a wider range of faces. Now these two guys here, you've got one just the solid brown lens, one with the classic brown gradient. That's kind of what I like they've done here. Even in the two of the same colors, they wanted to kind of play around and see which did better. Now that turned out to be the black. In this case, the black was the first one that found its home. But this one is still that solid piano black. And honestly, this is the best color in this one to me because the black really amps up that statement you get from this frame. And it's meant as a statement piece anyways. This isn't just your everyday basic pair of glasses. This is something that's meant to be more of a signature look, part of your what people think of when they think of you. So this is kind of a defining set of sunglasses. Which, come on, isn't that the whole goal is to have something that defines part of who we are, sunglasses that mesh with our personality. 
Or maybe I'm the only weird one like that. So back to what I mentioned, the way these fit on the face, you can see is really nice down through the bridge here. Really comes out nice and aggressive and wide, but if you look at the lenses and where my eyes are, they almost fall centrally in these. I, mean, I have a pretty average face. I'm not a supermodel or anything like that, so there you go. But you can see it's very much a bold statement piece. You know, these don't just disappear on the face. They make a strong appearance and a strong statement as a very aggressive cat eye that I've pointed out so many times by now. But really just makes a nice, bold look. And it, you know, for whatever reason, it's gotten pretty hard to find these, what you would call signature looks in sunglasses. We've talked about the Saratoga being one of kind of that classic Wayfair updated to a more statement piece. This is more of your statement cat eye from, of course, a whole other company. These aren't a vintage company, they're new. So there you go. But there you go. That's what I have got to say about, at least in particular, these cat eye sunglasses. Don't ever take your glasses off with one hand like that. I will hunt you down because you will stretch them out and mess them up and I have to fix them. Over time, obviously not the very first time you do it, but over time it stretches that temple out. That's my rant for the day. You get to deal with it. Now let me know what you guys think about these because I have a direct feed with a designer and it helps to give some feedback. So let me know your thoughts on these sunglasses. If you're interested in them, I will definitely put a link down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, follow along. I would love to have you along for the ride as we dive into lens technologies and different frames that are out there and review them. So, I will catch you guys next time. Take care in the meantime.